hi what's up guys welcome to another video from manifest sound and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this modern afrobeat sound in fl studio and let's dive right into the session yeah so guys straight into the breakdown of this beat we actually have a lot going on but then i'll be starting with the drums the first thing we'll be looking at for the drums is the top loop and is a basic afro dancehall pattern yeah so then couple with the kick What I did next was to add a top loop from the rhythm drum loop back and to be very precise I used the infinity top loop as you guys can see and then I you know stretch it to this particular project. Couple with what we have before it sounds like this. Yeah just to give it that bounce. Next up I added a shaker loop. And with the shaker loop, you can see the rhythm is already coming together. Yes, so next up, I added this conga and it just played at some particular point in the beat. Yeah, you can see it's just something very subtle. And then finally, I added this stick sound also coming in just at some point only. Yeah, so you might really not hear it basically because the volume is quite reduced and because that's the idea. <laughs> we don't want it to be very, very domicile in the beat, just something very, very subtle. Altogether, you have this. So guys, you can get access to this sound and many much more loops, one shot sounds by just using that link in the description to our new sample pack called the afro wave volume one it has lots of loops more than 50 loops one short sounds fx sound roll and fx it also contains melody loops plus their construction kit the link will be in the description guys and you can get access to it by just using that link next up guys we're talking about the melodies in this song and then um, this is actually like my favorite part of the beats because we have a lot going on here but first of all we have this guitar sample that sounds like this so next up guys i added this to marimba sound from a plugin called chroma phone a very popular plugin that we all know and then i consolidated those tracks to get this And then coupled with the guitar that we played earlier on, it sounds like this. So next up guys, I added some vocal chants from this amazing plugin called Exil, which is actually a contact library. And I got this. So an interesting thing I did to this particular sound was to add a plugin called Pancake just to make sure the sound pans from the left to the right. As you guys can see, the sound signal goes through this, this um, line and it goes from left all the way to the right here. And then next up, I added this plug sound from a plugin called Spiral and um, the name of this preset is called Transplug A side. And it sounds like this basically. Yeah, 
yeah so um a quick tip guys when making modern afro beats you don't really need to like choke up your beats um, with too many sounds and i mean like too many sound playing at the same time so if we like preview what i just played now with what we have before like the guitars and the marimba sounds you will notice they are playing at different intervals let me play them Yeah, you can see that there's quite some spaces in between them you know because we're also considering an artist singing on this beat so we want to leave rooms for you know for the artist for some other things and also to ensure that our mix comes out great so next up guys um there's another sound which is more like a plucky sound also that sounds like this next up we'll be talking about the bass and in this context we have two bass playing the first one is more like a whiz bass that sounds like this this was also gotten from the plugin called spiral and i'm using this particular bass called beauty tude a very very favorite sound i love to use from the spiral plugin and then for the next bass that we have, more like a synth bass. Yeah, so this one has more of that bounce, not like the whiz bass that we just played earlier on. And in context of what we have before, it sounds like this. Yeah, so guys, an interesting thing to note about this beat that I did is to add a pad to give it like this background layer. And what I did basically is not to play the whole progression. All I did was to play just these three notes and it played all through the song. And it sounds like this. Yeah, so if you are someone that actually understand the keyboard this is actually called suspended chords and these are chords that can go with various type of progression in this case i'm in the key of d and the progression of the song is six five then one four so all i did was to play the suspended chord and how can you get this suspended chord it is by just playing your one your two and your five in any key that you are in however this can also be inverted i can decide to take this my one and two and invert it to the next octave and as you guys can see it makes the sound quite more brighter but in the context of this beat i would prefer it coming back to the former octave that we are in yeah because i what i'm going for is that warm sound and as you guys can see, we have that same sound consolidated here. So lastly guys, for the melodies, we also added a log drum to complement our bass line. And um, I really love the log drum patterns because they are just like enhancing what the bass is playing already. And they sound like this. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it's more like a call and response thing from the log drum and the bass. Because they are low end instruments, um, they are not really clashing with each other, which is like something that really makes your beat stand out and gives you a good mix at the end, ensuring that two sounds of the same frequency are not clashing with each other. So, in this context, that's what we did for the bass and the log drum. Next up, moving to the FX sounds and the rows that was used in this song, um, what we have here basically is a reverse impact sound. 
and then this particular hit sound that is very popular in Afrobeat music. And then what we have next, we have this particular siren effect sound, popularly used in Afrobeat music also, then combined with a roll that crashed with a clap and all what I said practically sounds like this. And then lastly, we have the same reverse impact sound with another row plus a hit sound. With all this being said guys, you can get access to this amazing sample pack that has all the sound that was used in creating this particular beat and link will be in the description.